Hey, Sibella. Go right. look. Hello everybody, we're here with Isabella today. We're gonna to talk about episodic content, especially episodic video content. So first of all, we're seeing a lot of companies now starting to create video content, especially in an episodic way, in a consistent way. Um, why do you think that's happening? There's definitely been a very upward trend with episodic content. When we started learning more about it and really diving into like, why would it be valuable? I think it's because it's creating this space where companies can show their voice and put out consistent content, you know, whether it's relating to their buyer personas or something that they're trying to get more attention on, especially seeing what a content generator it is. We knew right off the bat, like, okay, we can shoot a couple videos at once and get a couple episodes out of it. So we decided we're gonna post one a week and Gabriel came up with the awesome idea, like, let's make a blog every week too. With this one video, you have almost like 20 pieces of content because you don't just have the blog, you don't just have the video, you have the captions that come with the video, you have the Facebook, the Instagram post, LinkedIn. What we have seen by creating consistent content, we're putting these, you know, coffee talks every week. Uh, in order to be able to do that, we have to schedule the shoots and then the editing process. And then after the editing is we're writing a blog after every single coffee talk. So that whole process made us kind of like have to streamline it. We, we couldn't like just create videos and post them whenever. We have to have a process and we have to manage it in a way that is gonna be consistent because we need the content to be there every Friday, right? So why don't you talk a little bit about that part of it, how we learn from that process. When we first uh, shot our first episode, we probably shot about five episodes worth of content and that put us in a really good starting position. I sat down with Aaron, my fellow videographer, and we came up with this process to say, if we have five episodes edited, then we have to make the teasers for that, the social posts, and then from there we can shoot next week and make the next five, you know, just creating a nice clean timeline so that we're not frantically like, oh wait, did you, you know, edit this one? Did you schedule that one? And that kind of was the overall foundation that we set for Coffee Talks and it's been working great so far. The process keeps going and now we're organizing our project management tool, everything, everybody knows what to do. There's like layers of things that need to happen and that has been actually a great process to go through to get it very not only consistent but very optimized to save time and and make it happen uh, at the same time I realized you know one thing you you mentioned um, is we are not just creating the video but then we're creating from the video we're creating a teaser video and then we're promoting that on social and then from the video we're creating a blog um, and that helps with SEO, it helps with engagement. So we're getting, first of all, because we're posting video consistently, we're getting an audience that comes back and because the first one makes the people watch the second one and then the third one makes people watch the first one and the second one, that creates kind of like a snowball effect, right? For, uh, for the episodes. Can you talk about a little bit of how we use Wistia and the Wistia channel to actually organize uh, the episodic content that we're creating? Yeah, for sure. So Wistia Channels gave us a perfect platform to put all of this episodic content on because before we were thinking, okay, we could put it on YouTube or we can put it on our website and just kind of have them all separated. But Wistia Channels really gave us that opportunity to almost give like a Netflix vibe to our videos, which is you can watch one video and then the upcoming one or the next video will pop up on the bottom of your screen. And if you're interested in the content or kind of want to learn more, maybe you're enjoying the educational side to our videos, you know, it's really creating a nice, clean way to go through that gallery. So Wistia has been definitely a very valuable part of this process. Yeah, and and because it lives on the, on the Wistia channel and we also have it on YouTube, then all the efforts that we're doing to promote it are sending people there. But it also helped us talk about other things, you know, um, not just like how to increase more email views or how to, you know, get your video play rate up and things like that, that we have created content for, for years, but also talk about ourselves and show more of who we are. Like you're here right now explaining the video strategy. Like, I feel like that is such a huge value that creates, that comes from creating video content constantly and not a crafted video that is got about, uh, gonna be about a product, 
But in this case, we're just having a conversation. Not every piece of episodic content has to be a conversation or an interview, but I feel like this gives us a, an outlet to talk about ourselves and talk about how we see marketing or the industry or our agency or how we manage our customers and things like that. And that engagement, uh, it's very real. We're showing who we are. So that's kind of like the power of video um, that allows us to actually talk at a different level. I don't know how you feel about that and how it affects our branding, right? You know, episodic content has really given us a new platform to show our voice on because we really we try to make you know fun content or really showcase our quality our production level new ideas new things we're trying to put out there but creating coffee talks has really given us the opportunity to you know use these segmented topics things that maybe not everyone knows about maybe things that aren't out there like behind the scenes of our agency or you know hiring people as the process has grown we've seen you know okay maybe that doesn't work maybe this works a little better and you know it's been interesting just figuring out what that really nice formula is to you know put good content out there without burning it out it's really more about like you know having a conversation and that's really what works for us because that's just you know adding to our personal brand yeah in the end episodic content helps you create more content consistently uh, be able to promote all of that uh, and show yourself in a very engaging way and human way to the world, which in the end, it brings people back and it brings the right people back. You don't want everybody to work with you. You want the right customers. You want people that are gonna actually see us as value and, and showing ourselves helps us do that more and more and get better at it uh, over time. For sure. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.